Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in another round. And as you see, we are nearly through with the world event, so or the global event. We only have to go after Deathleg and DK with the world of Barras. And just a coincidence, but we have a little world Baron mission available. I already selected those cards anyhow. A high ranking order asset was attacked at the target site. Primarily, divination indicates the target, the death of the asset, but some members of the security detail are still alive behind the security door. Order rescue the survivors for psychic debriefing. Atmospheric network online. Target has been barricaded behind a security door to avoid immediate extermination by hostiles. The door will be breached within a few Terran minutes. Violent That's intervention savage. required to retrieve the subject alive. And that in the end should no problem at all. I think the only problem, which could be of course that we have, oh I hope there, um, that we don't find our target um, and I'm already a little disappointed to be honest but then let's loop through them and take them all I should go for the Havoc Man this guy's this guy he's not these guys this guy is the nasty part in the group but as you see um, we don't do too, too much damage with that weapon against him still guys still I am not quite certain why at certain points why um, some psychos are actually exploding with a psychic explosion and some not that is out of my mind so the champion is not the desired target as well too bad so the trap framer is the first thing i'm going after because he is deaf to our constructs so as many gobblers we can take down in the um combination there good 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 so, room just down, nothing here, the mine will not do anything to us. Execution protocol initiated. That's the cool thing, if you actually see a mine, you can, um, if you're fast enough, actually still do something against us in order to save some of your constructs, the pain down there. Well, I in the end do not really care, mate. Get this guy down. The whole room is, so to say, empty. On the gas, and we are nearly at the desired target site where we are in need. Oh, I love this weapon. But we desperately need to respawn. The subject is now in inquisitorial custody. Relocate to the extraction zone. We desperately, desperately need to respawn some of our constructs, but we are a little bit out of um, data flux right now, which, which is of course not very cool in the end. Um, I have the feeling that we are very really quickly through this mission. That of course would be not this. Oh, okay. I still there thought we are at the target, but no, of course not. So shooting at the Havoc, the good part is of course um, the splash damage targeting all the other enemies there. Where we need to how the, <laughs> how the um, shots are actually flying through many enemies or too many enemies okay that one down we have still a couple of grouped up enemies around here which we are going to take down background of course there is um, still I know they that mission here ain't a perch but in every corner there could be a nice little big target with you know something on its head and we of course I want to go after it okay good 
not always I or oh, sometimes I see them skulls on the ground I'm not that blind but I'm sometimes just not that um, it sometimes if you are playing games and you are talking at least a little bit um, it sometimes you don't see certain stuff on the ground I don't know why um, if I play this game um, in the awful by myself then actually I see more of them skulls on the ground but sometimes that is if you're talking very very not hard but um, you're concentrating sometimes on something different I know that sounds a little bit stupid but that's just how it is actually for me okay that's just a hell brute I was hoping for something a little different that's it. That's such a, well, not time-wise desperate feeling, but a desperate feeling if you only have to kill off one more target and it is really, really, well, right in front of you and you are not able to make it and you are just a little bit unlucky. That is how it feels currently for me, actually. Switching the weapon. That one down, that one down, and now only the Hellbrood remains. Is it focusing on our little Psyker guy? I don't hope that. But maybe we are lucky enough to make it with the only 10,000 HP remaining here. Okay, that one is down. Switching to the masterful splash damage weapon again. down and I assume there's not going to be too too much up here no okay so we don't have the target on the map where we where we said indeed I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest I was hoping for the best so at least we did the mission with not too too much of problems um, we are not going to be as lucky as having it right there that would be um, insane in the end but you never know sometimes no I want to say sometimes these things they can escalate but not now come on be a little quicker please and out she goes complete. subject retrieved in adequate condition a most unlikely achievement end of log well well, well, that is the only thing I can say there. So that means actually we have only one more thing to do and that is going through the items we have actually received here. Still, if we are a titsy little bit lucky, we have an upgrade for us and not for the... Okay. Um, complete a hundred mission without dying on your level or higher. Um, perk unlocked, plus one damage reduction for each construct within five meters. Okay, neat indeed. Then that even rhymed a little bit. I know, that was just a coincidence indeed. But guys, that sadly enough right now leads us to the end of this episode. And you know it, I really Thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.